Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I am Simply Key. So if you hear any background noise, I have a son across the hall that's watching TV, a husband that's downstairs watching TV, and both of them act like they cannot hear. So if you hear any noise, that is their TVs. So today we're going to talk about debt. Um, well, more, more so specifically my debt and what I'm going to need to do in order to pay my debt off and what are my plans and how do I plan on tackling the debt, the, the debt <laughs> that I am currently in. Okay. So, so far, and if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone because I have notes, but I'm going to also put it here or here. So you'll be able to see the full broad spectrum of everything. Okay, so from what I'm realizing, my debt has been categorized in, I think, four different things, if I'm not mistaken. So let's tap into, not that one, that one. So it has been categorized, and I've paid some of this off um, since then, so you will see the correct numbers, like I said, either here or here. Okay, guys, that draw being open was irritating my spirit, okay? So, like I said, my debt has been um, categorized, and I have $5,000.81 in credit card debt. I have $14,644 in student loans. Now, we're not going to talk about the student loans today just because I'm not so much worried about my loans yet because I'm not due to start paying those back till 2022, which gives me enough time to pay off this debt that we're going to talk about today. And you're probably like, well, you should be paying off that too. I have a system and my system works for me. Um, let's see. Auto loan. Auto loan, technically, that's me and my husband's car, but he pays his own car notes. So we're just going to talk about my auto loan. And the last time it was reported to the credit bureau, it was $17,030, but it has since dropped down. And it'll be, like I said, everything will be shown here. So all together, the debt that I have accumulated, let's see, the debt I have accumulated as of February equals totals out to $21,262.71. And you're probably like, how sway, how? Okay, so as you can see from this picture up here, I um, still owe $410 to JCPenney's. I owe $940 to Forever 21. Firestone is $1,600. Reflex, which is a credit card that I have, is $549. Legacy, which is a credit card I own, is $480. My saving first, savings first credit card is $451.71. Now, what I owe on my car as of right now is $16,832. So that is where we get the total of $21,262.71. Now, yes, that's a lot of debt. No, it's not good to have that much debt. Um, and I'm currently trying to, no, not saying trying, I'm currently on top of that. I'm currently going to have that paid off and out of the way. As far as the credit cards within this year, my car note, although I have a five year term, I plan on having my car note, my car paid off in two years. So my car will be actually paid off by the end of 2021. That is my goal. So what I have saved up now, well, before we get into what's going on so far what i had saved up at the beginning of february before february started was 287 dollars now i know we had 393 dollars i think saved up or something like that 300 and yeah i think it was 393 or 92 dollars saved up but we had an emergency and i had to pull 107 dollars from my savings account because there was no other way no other place to pull it from now, what I'm thinking about doing is I have I want to have a savings that can't be touched, can't be messed with. And I also want to have a savings that if I need to, the, per per emergency, because everything is not an emergency, a new pair of shoes, a new purse, a new, new weave, a new outfit is not an emergency. I'm talking about your car need to be fixed and you got to pull that money from somewhere. That's an emergency. So I'm talking about real life emergencies that we don't plan for. So 
that is what I have saved, saved up. That is what I was in debt uh, was in debt of in the beginning of February. So now we're at the end of February. So I paid some of these things down um, and tried to make the blow a <laughs> little harsher um, and really trying to see um, see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because sometimes you can have so much debt that you feel like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I am at a place now where I don't need bags, I don't need shoes, I don't need hair. I have tons of all of those things. So all the money that I was investing in hair, all the money I was investing in shoes, all of the money I was investing in clothes, I'm now investing towards my debt. Not saying that I'm not gonna buy anything throughout the year, but hey, let's say I pay off a credit card way before I thought I would pay it off. I'm gonna treat myself to a pair of shoes or wig or something, but it's not gonna be consistent the way it was. Like I was buying stuff every week. If there if there was a Friday, I was buying something that Friday, which there is a Friday. So I was buying something every Friday. But now I'm at a place where I don't have to spend like that. I'm not, it, I don't feel like when I go into the store, I have to leave about the store with something. And that used to be one of my biggest problems. I felt like I could not leave a store unless I picked up something. And if I got paid on a Friday, I felt like I couldn't, that my Friday was not good unless I bought something for myself. Mind you, I buy things for my kids all the time, but specifically something for myself. I feel like I could not, I, a hard worker like me not buy anything for herself, baby girl. That was not happening. So I'm now at a place where I don't need anything. I'm content. Um, we are in the middle of changing out our room, our bedroom um, decor, just because we're getting ready to go into the spring months. But the decor that we'll be switching and swapping out will be decor that we'll be just able to use from years to come. So this is my winter, fall type decor. I like bright colors even in the fall, like grays and deep grays and blacks and stuff like that. And then in the summertime, I like yellows and grays. So yeah, we do plan on switching our decor in our bedroom. But other than that, and maybe in putting some yellow pillows in the living room because my furniture is black and silver. But other than that, no, we're not going to be doing any extra spending. Um, So let's get into what I've paid off so far. So, so far, hold on. So far, I have paid off $2,357.71 in debt. This is leaving us with an ending balance of $18,905. And as you can see in small print, like I said, this was possible because of February being an income tax season. I mean, income tax month. And this is not a permanent amount that can be paid every month. I'm, I know for myself, I'm not going to be able to push $2,357 towards debt every month. Maybe five or 600, but definitely not 2,000. So this was, this lump sum was basically because I got my income tax this month. So that's, I put that towards debt. Well, some of it towards debt. Now, what we have saved up now, we went from two, I think what, 287 to $5,473. This is getting me really, really close to saving my $13,000 by the end of the year. Just because we didn't need anything this year. Um, we have cars. We have, I mean, we have every single thing. There's nothing that we need. Now, I did take a little money out, um, but that's that has nothing to do with my savings. I did take a little money out of my income tax to do some groceries and maybe toiletries and things that we might need for the house or whatever. But we really did not need it. This was one of those years where we really didn't need anything. Like there was nothing to buy. The kids have their bedroom suits. I have my bedroom stuff. The living room is fine. There was nothing that was needed this year. So I was able to put a lot of that money up versus spending half of it. So yeah, like this, this lump sum was like I said in as you can see in small print was also due to the fact that I got my taxes. There is no way <laughs> that I will be able to save $5,473 every month 
maybe eight, nine hundred a month, but definitely not five thousand. So this really gave me the boost that I needed to kind of get to my thirteen thousand dollar at the end of the year goal. So, um, I can really say that I'm proud of the debt that we um, tackled this month. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that amount. I am definitely okay with my savings being where it is now. I feel comfortable. I feel safe. I feel like um, I, I'm not worried. Um, I have, so far, I have three months worth of savings put up. So if something was to happen, I have three months worth of savings put up. Plus, the way my job is set up, if something devastating was to happen, I, I still get a check cut regardless. So it's not where I would feel like I would need, ever need to touch that particular money. So yeah, that is what we, uh, what we were in debt for the beginning of February and what we're in debt for at the end of February. And I think we put a nice little dent in that. I can't wait to see what I could push towards my debt um, in March. I know a lot of you guys saying, you're supposed to pay you first. You're supposed to not so much so worry about the debt. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. A credit score matters. A credit score matters if you're trying to get a home. A credit score matters if you're trying to get a car, which I'm not trying to get any of those things right now. But in order to work towards those things, I have to have my credit score in order. And not just that, I don't want to be in debt. I don't want to have to pay a bill every month for some debt that I've incurred because of spending habits. So now that I have my spending habits under control and I'm not so pressed to spend money like that anymore, it's really been helping me. Um, I am on a hundred dollar a week budget. You got like four hundred dollars, that's a lot. I know some people only do a hundred dollars a month, but I'm a realist. That that includes my gas. So that includes my nails. That includes me getting my hair braided up, braided up with my beautician. So that's my allowance for my beauty, for my gas. That's all that wrapped in one. And I know for me, that's going to take $400 a month. So I have a $400 a month allowance, which is $100 a week. Once that $100 is gone by the end of the week, it's gone. I've been lucky to where I've had a couple of dollars, a couple of about $20, $40 saved up and put up because I haven't used it all within the week. But for the most part, I haven't really been needing to spend money. Even eating out, I found myself, even when I wanted to go stop places and eat out, I found myself coming straight home. Now, I think I did stop. Did I stop one time last week? I did. I stopped at Taco Bell, but that was before I started my health journey. I knew I was going to start my health journey, and I had to taste for some Doritos local tacos. <laughs> So I stopped at Taco. I don't know why I say it like that, but when I say Dorito Loco Tacos, I have to say it with the accent. But I knew I was going to start my health journey, and I knew before I started it, I wanted some Doritos Loco Tacos from Taco Bell. So I went to Taco Bell and got my last takeout for the next couple of months. Now, don't get me wrong. My, I'm not saying that we won't eat out during the week, but my children, like, um, Friday, I have to do a double. So, I'm going to have my husband pick them up pizza. I'll be at work, so I'll probably be eating um, some shrimp tacos that I'm going to pre-make the day before and some fish tacos that I'm making the day before. That's probably going to be my lunch and my dinner So and some yogurt. So, I won't be partaking in the eating out, unfortunately, and, it, uh, you know... Hey, that's the way it is. That's what's helping me. So once a week, they probably will get their pizza and I'll be eating something else. Just because I've started juicing, I've started watching what I eat um, and what I put in my body more um, because I am trying to lose weight and get healthy. So yeah, that is it, y'all. I'm so happy about the debt that I took out of my life. Like, I still have a long way to go. But just seeing that number drop, the way it dropped, really pushed me and motivated me. I do not have access to my debit cards or my credit cards. I have put them where I will not, they're not on me. So when I go places, I do not have them on me. I will not be using them. Um, just because I now, during the week, I carry 
cash. That's it. My hundred dollars. That's all I got. That's just what it is. A hundred dollars a week. So yeah, I am gonna get out of here. I just wanted to share with you guys an accomplishment that I thought was important to me, and I thought I would share with you guys. Let you know that hey, we are in this together. It is not easy, um, especially when you've. In to me, that's a lot of debt. So especially when you've incurred a lot of debt, it can seem like you are like about to drown in it. But if you budget, if you make a if you make a mental decision to say, hey, I am not going to be my debt. I am not going to be a statistic. I am not going to continue to live this way. And you do things to change the way you spend. And you change your, you change your thinking when it comes to spending. And you change how you spend. And you stop visiting and going to places that you would normally visit and go to. You'll see that you have a lot more money to allocate and put towards things that are important. Um, like for me, I've decided that I'm not just going to, I may have a girl's night once a month. That's it. Also, for like events, I plan on going to comedy shows and concerts. But if I don't have that money put to the side, there's no going to my savings. There's no running a credit card. If I don't save for those events, then I'm not going to those events. So, you know, I'm not doing a lot of things. So, I am okay with not spending. Sometimes it takes you to really like fall on your behind to understand how just where you are in the place that you are. And it, I have fallen on my behind. Although I was able to get back up, I fought, fell on my behind and it kind of opened my mind, opened my eyes to the fact that I was a slave to money. I was a slave to money. I Yes, money makes the world go round. Yes, you need it. But the things that I was spending it in, I wasn't investing in my health. I wasn't investing in my wealth. I wasn't investing in me. I was investing in clothes, wigs, and shoes. And you're probably like, that's investing in you? No, I'm talking about long-term investing in myself to where when I get older, when I'm 60, 70 years old, I don't have to work as hard because I started putting money up now. And yeah, I'm starting late. I'm 39. So yeah, I'm starting late, but better late than never. I want to have a small little cushion put up by the time I'm 60, 70 years old. Because I do plan on working. Child, you know. I know everybody be saying, I'm going to get my unemployment, my social security. Girl, no, I'm planning on working, child, as long as the Lord allowed me to move and shake. 60, 70 years old, I'm still be punching somebody clock or, or running my own business. However it go, whatever God got in store for me, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to share the accomplishment that I made for the month of February. I'm very proud of myself. Remember, if nobody told you you're beautiful, remember Simply Key will always say you're beautiful because you simply are. And I hope the lighting was okay in this video. I had to change from my warm lights to my cool lights because I was looking kind of orange with the other lights. So I feel like this is better lighting. And plus I was going to use the natural light outside, but it's kind of gloomy out there. So it's going to give you the best quality. And I like using my ring light every now and then. So, um, oh, and I hope you guys enjoy, you should be seeing it by now. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog, the video I did in investing in your channel. I just want to give you, or investing in yourself, I just want to give you good, great tips to go along the way and let you know that you can do it at an affordable rate that's not going to break the bank and not going to break your pockets, okay? So, y'all, I am finna get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Budget for February, our goals for February, um, what I plan on doing different for February. So, this is our... February, um, 